In this video, we're going to take a look at the effect of the A value on the parabola. So let's start by looking at our vertex form. So there's your A value, y equals A times x minus h squared plus k. And what we do is we look at the movement from the vertex. So let's set up a little table here. We've got left or right and up or down. So from the vertex, when we move left or right one space, notice that we go up or down one squared. If we go left or right two spaces, it's up or down two squared. If you go left or right three spaces, it's up or down three squared. This is what we've done so far with the parent graph, y equals x squared, and all the graphs that we've looked at that have an a value of one. So again, we're going over one, up one squared. If we were to go to the, le to the left two, we would go up two squared. And if we go back to the vertex and go over 3, we're going up 3 squared. So technically, what is the A value of our parent graph? Well, the A value of our parent graph could technically be a 1. So the place where the A value comes in, all this time, what we have actually been doing is going 1 squared times the A value. 2 squared times the a value, 3 squared times the a value. But since we've only dealt with an a value of 1 so far, it doesn't have any effect. So let's go ahead and try this again, only this time we're going to change the a value to 2. So in my table, let me just get set up here. So now instead of going 1 squared times an a value of 1, we're going to go 1 squared times an a value of 2. 2 squared times 2, 3 squared times 2. So now when we go left or right 1, we're going to actually go up or down 2, because that would be 1 squared times 2. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18. So by the time we go over 3 on this graph, we're going to be off the graph. So we still have 0, 0 as our starting point. And now we can go ahead and go over 1, up 2, both left and right. Go back to the vertex. Now when we go over 2, we're actually going to go up 8 spaces. Because that is 2 squared times the a value of 2. And we don't have space to go over 3 and up 18. So that right there is what happens to the graph when you have an a value of 2. For this next example, let's go ahead and make the a value negative and a fraction. So we've got an a value of negative one half. So if you go left or right one space, you're going to go up or down one squared times negative one half. That's negative one half. And hopefully you can realize that when that value is positive, we go up. When that value is negative, we go down. So from our Vertex at 0, 0, this one would, be, would go over 1 and down 1 half on both sides. If we go 2 squared times negative 1 half, that would be 4 times negative 1 half. Half of 4 is 2, so that would be negative 2. So if we go over 2 spaces, we would go down 2 spaces. Again, each time we're going back to the vertex. And the last one would be 3 squared times negative one half, which is nine uh, times a half. That's negative four and a half. So we get another point that the fraction over three down four and a half. And then since it's a fraction, if I really wanted to, if I go left or right four spaces, that would be four squared times negative one half. And that would be 16, and half of 16 would be 8. So we actually do have space to go left and right 4 spaces, and then we would go down 8 spaces here and there. And then we connect it, and we get our parabola y equals negative 1 half x squared. Okay? 
So notice that when you have a fraction that's less than one, whether it's positive or negative, we'll make the parabola wider than our parent graph of y equals x squared. We'll go ahead and end the video by putting three graphs all together so you can see how they compare to our parent graph of y equals x squared. You can stop the video and try them on your own, although the very last one requires some fraction skill. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at y equals 3x squared. So one quick pattern you should notice is that whatever the a value is, when you go left to right one, you use the a value to get your next point. And then next, I would be going up 2 squared times 3 when I go over 2. And that's already 12. That's already off the graph. So sometimes these things, they don't get very far because they go up really quick. That's not the best looking parabola in the world, but it worked. So there would be our y equals 3x squared with three good points. All right, how about y equals negative 1 fourth x squared? I would have 0, 0. Um, and then I can kind of estimate 1 fourth, which is kind of a challenge. You might want to think, where's the first good point that's a whole number answer? That would be 1 fourth of 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. And then 1 fourth of 4 is just 1. So if I go over 2, I'd be going down 1. And I could just stop there if I wanted to. Um, I would skip 3 because I know it's going to be 1 fourth of 9. It's going to be a fraction. But if I, if I go over 4, that's 16. And I can take 1 fourth of 16. So if I go over 4, 1 fourth of 16 is 4. So it'd be down 4. So left and right 4, down 4. And I'm not going to worry about the fraction that I'm supposed to have for when I go over 3. If I just try to connect these with the smooth line, I'll be close to where the answer is. Well, not on that one, I'm not, but you get the idea. All right, our last one, y equals 2 fifths x squared. I mean, I can try to guess what where 2 fifths is when I go over 1. I mean, it's going to be a little less than half, but, you know, we're looking for a good point that we know the exact point. And the first square, the first perfect square that we can divide by 5 would be 25. So I'd want to go over 5 spaces. And if I go over 5 spaces, I would be taking 2 fifths of 25. Here's our fraction skills. We're going 2 fifths times 5 squared, which is 25. Cross reduce, that's a 1, that's a 5, and we get 10. So that tells me if I go over 5, I'm supposed to go up 10. Notice that is going to be a wider graph than our parent graph. All right, so you can see as we get fractions, any A value that's less than 1, whether it's positive or negative, makes the graph open wider, makes the parabola wider than our y equals x squared. And any A value that's greater than 1, makes the graph skinnier, goes up faster than our parent graph. All right, that's it.